Hey Chance, how's it going bud? Just wanted to address some things now that I'm in doggy heaven. First off, I gotta level with you bud. In my life, you subjected me to some terrible, terrible sights and sounds. I mean, there's some Vietnamese war dogs up here that have seen some less dramatic shit than I've seen. I mean, hell, even one of the corpse retrieving dogs, once they got a whiff of me, said they never smelled anything that bad. <laughs> you really put me through a funk there, buddy. <laughs> like, remember that time I was underneath the bed eating discarded hot pocket pieces? You run in yelling, oh shit, oh shit, Marty's here, and then you pushed me out from under the bed. And the kicker to that whole thing is, you finished the Hot Pocket pieces. I mean, why did you discard him? And you know what? I, I don't care. I don't care. We're not talking about that right now. And I think what we're really here to address today is the fact that you have no consideration for anyone else in the house. I mean, you keep poor Sally and Ed up singing all night, terribly I might add, yelling at Marty, yelling at William Glory Holt. You yell at Kate, you yell at everybody. You know, for somebody who jacks off as much as you do, you'd think you'd be a little bit more calm there, bud. And that's another thing I'd like to address. What did your poor dick ever do to you? I mean, you beat that thing like it owes you fucking money or something, man. You need to find a new hobby, bud. Seriously. You're embarrassing me up here. You know, all the other dogs saw your Jamaican talking dog bit you made me do with that terrible accent. I mean, it didn't even sound like a Jamaican accent. It sounded like a handicapped bayou worker that just got hit in the head with a fucking hammer, man. I mean, you didn't even plan out any dialogue. You just shot and made random shit up as I walked around. And that's another thing. Why would you make me a Jamaican dog when you're obviously a racist? I mean, makes no sense the redundancy that flows through your veins, my man. And I gotta be honest, it feels good to be able to finally get this off my chest and say the things that I could not say in life. And speaking of saying things, you speak a lot of stupid shit, my man. I mean, a lot of the things that come out of your mouth are just totally mind-boggling, and I'm a fucking dog. I either way, I digress. I mean, one day you're gonna be a race car driver, the next day you're gonna be a boxer, the day after that you're gonna be an astronaut, then perhaps a fireman. Look, the whole point is you're all over the place all the time, bud. So you need to find a lane, stick in it, and go with it. You know what I mean? Just have a commitment to something that lasts more than 50 seconds. And that's coming from someone who lived their life in dog years for shit's sake, Chance. I mean, come on, man. Well, anywho, I gotta get going. I gotta go meet up with Snoop's dog and Lassie to go smoke a joint. That's right, Chance. This whole time I've been pro-marijuana. Me, Sally, and Ed. In fact, there'd be times where Ed would say, Hey, Sally! Put a gummy in his hot pocket, and I'd be like, no, no, put two in. Let's have a nice, chilled night tonight. Well, anyway, I got a motor, so later, Tate.